Hi there, hi there. Very good evening and uh, happy National Day for those uh, Malaysians uh, who is listening in. And I hope you had a good day. Uh, uh, I heard that uh, there are a lot of people celebrating this morning, uh, especially uh, those people who are shouting Merdeka at McDonald's. <laughs> I tried, I tried myself to uh, pick up some 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 freebies, and uh, was informed that um, we needed to actually uh, bring the national flag, bring the national flag. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a national flag, and uh, did not get my McDonald's uh, free burger. Yeah, hi guys, uh, this is Ming Hon, and if you have uh, not uh, connected with me before uh, on Traders Talk, yeah, so uh, this is a talk where I uh, teach people about financial literacy and uh, also at the same time uh, <clears throat> a bit more about life and also um, trading and also trading. Yeah, For those people who aspire uh, to learn how to trade the stock market uh, and also for those people uh, who, who are already trading, who are already trading and would want to actually uh, up their level of trading skill. Yeah, so this is the show for you to see. Yeah, great. And uh, today, actually, I have a lot of things uh, lined up and uh, I will try to actually finish all uh, within an hour, within an hour. And uh, the topic which I have today is actually uh, on broker selection. Yeah, uh, and, and a lot of times uh, when new people actually uh, come uh, onto the trading scene, um, they, they find it difficult uh, to actually uh, find a broker. They find it difficult to find a broker because in the market, there are actually a lot of brokers. Uh, and of course, uh, some are better and some are uh, not so good. And uh, as a professional trader, as, as a professional trader, uh, I would actually uh, uh, give uh, some recommendations of which, which uh, broker uh, is is uh, my top pick, which is my top pick. And I will also explain to you uh, the reasons, the reasons behind uh, my pick, uh, especially for those uh, people who are just starting to trade. So uh, the broker, which I will actually uh, introduce to you is actually uh, good for starters, good for starters, uh, people who are actually coming into the trading, uh, trading game. Yeah. And uh, as, as usual, uh, I would just want to uh, go through uh, my newsletter, uh, some of the things which I actually uh, published in my newsletter uh, yesterday. And uh, for those of you uh, who, who, who are first time here, who are first time here, uh, uh, great. For those who are actually first time here, uh, if you can actually uh, uh, like and share so that more people can actually uh, see this. And uh, there's a Facebook user here, <laughs> which is probably one of one of uh, some people I know. Uh, and uh, and uh, great to see you. Great to see you. Yeah. Just let me pop up the uh, presentation. Okay, great. Okay, um, uh, today, uh, yesterday, I actually covered something very interesting, uh, something very interesting, which is actually uh, about this uh, 100 days, 100 days. Yeah, uh, and and uh, if you see this, uh, it's actually a very interesting thing, which has been uh, 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 circling around uh, the, the, the net, and it's actually quite 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 viral <laughs> maybe a different picture yeah so it's about it's about change it's about change uh 100 days change okay and and i i remember when when i was actually working with uh, the investment bank and every time we actually 
uh, finish an acquisition or a merger of uh, companies yeah after we do a takeover and all so so a lot of times all this new management will actually come in and and what happened is that uh, the 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 performance of the the uh, incoming management will be measured in the first 100 days that they are in office yeah? that they are in office and this is actually a very crucial time where a lot of things are going to be implemented in the uh, organization or the company which is actually being taken over so that uh, it can actually uh, improve yeah and 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 the reason being of course uh, if the company taken over was an ailing company then a lot of restructurings are, are actually undertaken during these 100 100 days so that the 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 company's performance can actually improve yeah so so this this was uh on on during my 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 days in the investment bank these are the things which uh, we always come across and of course uh uh the 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 other things like uh, for example uh for 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 you guys um when you come into the uh, trading game when you come into the trading game uh indirectly you guys will also be measured you guys will also be measured because it's actually very crucial for your first 100 days uh when you actually start to trade uh, uh you need to actually um get in the game fast get in the game fast so that uh at the end of this 100 days you will actually uh learn the trading game and at the same time uh to also uh, to also uh, get some results yeah the important thing is getting results and and one of the thing uh, which uh, you guys should know is that trading is actually not that difficult not that difficult uh, especially uh, if you are trading options <laughs> why i say this yeah because uh, uh, I, I will i will explain later on uh, why it's actually not difficult by showing you some examples by showing you some trade examples so that you know that uh, trading options is actually one of the most simple trading trading techniques uh, in the market of uh, trading, yeah, as compared to other form of trading forex, uh, stocks, uh, uh, crypto, or what. So those are the difficult things for me. But of course, uh, options I find it to be very easy to follow, yeah. And then of course, uh, local scene the hundred days. Is if you guys follow the Malaysian uh, scene, is another meaning which I do not want to go into. Uh, yeah, here here today, and and of course the final thing for this uh, hundred days is that um, I want to say that if you don't change direction, you will end up where you are headed. Yeah, so you need to actually uh, if you want to uh, reach some somewhere. Yeah, and uh, of course you need to go to that direction. If that direction is uh, uh somewhere which you do not want to end up then you have to change your direction agree yeah those who agree with me give me a thumbs up so that uh, i know you guys uh, understand this great a bit on the markets uh, a bit on the markets uh, uh if you have seen the market uh, last last week uh, again uh, spx has actually s and p 500 has actually gone to all time high again all time high again and if you look at the chart this is actually the spx chart right uh you see that uh, yesterday itself yesterday itself it has broken last week high yeah it has already uh, broken last week high and last week high was actually 4513 4513 and uh, yesterday it went up another 19 points 19 points okay just just for you to actually uh, see how how the spx uh, um um trend yeah if you you if you can actually look at the trends uh, if you can actually look at the trends the spx actually uh writes by wave writes by waves wave up wave down wave up wave down wave up wave down so kind of like surfing kind of like surfing so so when it when the wave you know you know the surfing wave right you know the surfing the surfing right um so it goes up the the, the wave goes up and then uh it comes down it comes down right and then uh it, it repeats itself it repeats itself so so for those people who are trading so i i i i uh, say they are also like surfers they're also like surfers they they will actually serve the serve the market up serve the market up 
And then when the market comes down, they, they rest. They rest or they, they ride along the wave. They ride along the wave. And then uh, they find another wave up. They find another wave up and they ride the wave. Yeah. So, so this is uh, like a surfing game. Yeah. So when you actually look at charts, uh, you always look at the, the, the high points, which, which is here. You can see actually this is a high point here. And then it comes down and you find another high point before it comes down. And normally what I do is I try to actually always draw lines on the high points. So whenever I actually see a high point, I will actually draw a line across. Yeah. So that I know that this is actually the highest and I want to see that the market actually goes down from the high points. And before that, it reached again to the previous high point. And if it breaches, then we call this a higher high, higher high, higher high. Yeah, so this is what uh, was happening on the SPX for <laughs> I don't know for so for so long for so long. Um, uh, I mean, especially since after the pandemic, it has actually gone uh, almost by uh, uh, two two times at least, almost close to two times. Yeah, and uh, uh, NDX, the Nasdaq one hundred, the 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 index is also up. Is also up. Of course, uh, the the trend for NDX is actually not that um, how to say a bit more volatile. I would say a bit more volatile uh, as compared to the SPX, yeah. Because of course, you know, as you know, there are actually a lot of high hot stocks uh, in here, and of course, when the market is up, a lot of people are actually chasing it, and when the market is down, a lot of people are actually scared, and basically, uh, the the NDX uh, would actually uh, uh, crash faster. As compared to uh, SPX, which is uh, more subtle, yeah. And uh, the last time uh, NDX actually gone down was uh, somewhere in May, and uh, I think about uh, two or three weeks ago. Two or three weeks ago, in my newsletter, I I asked to actually watch up, watch out for this double top, double top. This was actually a double top back then, a small one. And of course, uh, it retraced a bit. It retraced a bit. Uh, a little, uh, some people got scared. Some people got scared. And then it, it went up, but it did not breach. And subsequent, it came down. Uh, and then it went all the way, breaching uh, all-time high again. Yeah. So this was uh, SPX. Uh, this was uh, NDX, sorry. And, uh, and if you have followed my uh, newsletter, uh, I, I actually uh, spoke about a uh, trade which I actually entered on Facebook. I actually entered on Facebook. Uh, that was somewhere in early uh, August. There was somewhere in early August. I actually entered a trade on uh, Facebook uh, somewhere uh, on the fourth of August uh, here. Yeah, fourth. And 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 this was basically just after uh, the 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 time where uh, Facebook actually uh, get up. Yeah. It actually flashed up here, and this was actually just before their earnings, just before their earnings, where um, where they talk about this metaverse thing. Uh, they spoken about this metaverse thing. I think few days before their earnings, and people were so excited that uh, Facebook is going to to uh, this to metaverse. What what is that? <laughs> it's actually a a a, a reality. A, a, what is that? A realm or re re virtual reality realm, yeah, where they actually are trying to uh, go into uh, that that area, and of course, uh, a lot of people were very prospective, and the the uh, the price actually shot up from here to here. But of course, uh, post earnings, uh, it did not it did not um, uh, uh, maintain, and and basically uh, it lost most of uh, the 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 increase, and it dropped down. So of course, when it dropped down, uh, uh, I started to actually pick up some uh, long positions, some long positions. Uh, although it did not drop uh, to the EMA 50, uh, being an option trader, we do not need to actually be precise. So that's why I said trading options is actually uh, something uh, easier because when, when we trade, uh, we do not need to be precise in terms of the uh, entry points, entry points. As long as we are comfortable uh, on the on the price action on the price action, we can already enter the trade. Yeah, if you are doing stock trading, you might need to actually wait for some uh, indicators or some trigger bars before you do. But when we do options, is it is fine. Uh, we can just enter the trade. But of course, 
we we will uh, implement some form of protective strategies some protective strategies uh, if we are not certain if the price will actually rebound because if you see when i actually entered the trade uh, right here right right here right it it went up yeah it went up but i did not i did not sell it because at that time i i said that i wanted to target it to go to about 270 dollars yeah so it was below 270 about 260 something but before it reached 270 it actually came down it actually came down yeah uh, again close to uh ema 50 and after that it shot up again yeah so so of course during this time during this time when it was going up and going down you will see your profits going up and going down so what we option traders do is that uh, we can actually still uh, gain some gain some profits during this time uh, by actually um, uh, uh, taking on premium by selling some calls on your long position on your long position you can actually gain weekly premiums by selling some calls yeah uh, and, and that was basically just what I did. Uh, I think in between this trade of about 26 days, uh, I uh, I entered, when I entered into the trade already, I had some protective uh, calls in it. Of course, along the way, uh, I did another uh, one protective call because the price was going uh, uh, up and down. So in total, uh, the trade... Uh, I exited yesterday. I exited the trade yesterday when when uh, when Facebook breached three hundred and eighty dollars. Breached three hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, I just put in a, 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 a order in the market, and during my sleep, it just it just triggered the the long call. It just triggered a long call, and I exited. So this was actually the uh, the profits um, coming out of it. The trade. The, the net price of the trade was about 1350 1350 uh, as i said i sold an additional call uh, during uh, the trade uh, took another 118 and i exited the trade yesterday at 30 at 30 so so the total profit uh, for the whole trade is actually about uh, 1768 uh, about 130% of this uh, within 26 days within 26 days of course uh, there is one more uh uh bear put bear put which is still in uh still not closed yet because uh the bear put uh, premium left was only about 22 dollars which uh, i would probably um uh, take the full premium uh, come 17 september or close it at a small uh, uh, at, a, uh, at three or five dollars yeah so all in basically i would expect that the uh, big chunk of the profits have already been taken up uh, it's only uh, about another 22 dollars as of yesterday which uh, the premium uh, is still there lah, yeah for me to actually take from the table so this this is how we option traders actually trade yeah so uh, as I said, uh, it is actually not so difficult. But of course, all the techniques which I told you just now, these are the things you need to actually pick up along 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 the way, which you actually need to learn. But once you learn it, uh, it becomes uh, very easy. It becomes very easy. And uh, we basically have a feel on price action uh, and then apply the correct strategy uh, to the, to the uh, correct environment or or, or or, or the price price uh, price charts here yeah so that is basically what what we do yeah uh, in our trades and uh yep yep so so uh, uh what i actually want to introduce uh, is the uh brokers is the brokers and uh Normally, uh, the the professional traders, like, yeah. I mean, for us, we always want to become professional, yeah. Because when we do, uh, when we trade, when we trade, uh, we actually want to do it as a business. We actually want to treat our trading as a business. So when we treat our trading as a business, we actually want to use the best brokers around, best brokers around, and these are the three uh, top brokers which uh, most uh professional traders use yeah the first one is of course interactive brokers this is actually an international broker and then the second one is uh, TD Ameritrade uh, it is also 
are all of it are actually international brokers lah. But why I say international is because interactive brokers they have more markets. Their markets is actually international. You can trade uh, Hong Kong, Hong Kong uh, options, Hong Kong shares, uh, Singapore, uh, Japan, and all all over the world. Yeah, and uh, the other two brokers are only covering us us markets us markets yeah uh emery um, uh, emery uh, td emery trade uh, which is actually using the thing or swim platform and then the other one uh probably you guys have not heard of it before but if you are a professional trader you would probably know tasty works yeah because tasty works is actually um uh, uh set up by the founders of uh thing or swim that means td ameritrade the platform is called thing or swim the the, bro the trading platform is called thing or swim so tasty works is actually set up by the founders of uh thing or swim they sold off the uh td ameritrade business and after that basically uh, they set up another uh broking platform which is called tasty works yeah uh, if you guys heard of uh, Tasty Work before, uh, give thumbs up. Uh, if you have not heard of it, give me a love so I know that uh, uh, if you are familiar with these brokers. Yeah. So, so what I actually want to uh, 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 teach, not teach you, to actually uh, let you know is that for new traders, for new traders, I would advise for you to actually uh, go on uh, Tasty Works. Tasty Works. And, and I will actually explain why Tasty works. Firstly, interactive brokers is actually uh, for professionals, for professionals, real professionals, if they do high volume trades. So this is the platform which they use. And of course, uh, it is also very powerful if you know how to use it. Yeah. But the, 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 the outlook of it is actually quite uh, uh, so-called quite a bit technical. I mean, if you don't know how to, uh, maneuver is a bit difficult to move around yeah and and of course the other one uh, which is uh think or swim think or swim is also a quite good platform if you are trading options it's a it's also a good platform if you are trading options but tasty work is easier is easier yeah okay i will show you the platform itself to actually explain why why it is actually uh, easier let me just put up the platform. Okay, so so this is actually the 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 platform uh, of uh, of Tasty Work. And, and when you actually go, uh, most, most platform would be similar. You can actually see similar things, but this is actually very interactive. This is actually very interactive. So when you go on the platform, of course, uh, you would have, uh, uh, you would have to, to put in the ticker, of course, the ticker. Yeah. So this is actually the place where you put ticker. Let's say I put in here, uh, uh, what is that? Facebook, Facebook. Okay. So, so once this uh, Facebook is here, then you can actually uh, see some of the things with, with uh, Facebook. This is, of course, the uh, summary of the chart. Then uh, you would see uh, uh, liquidity, liquidity star ranking here. Yeah. And this is actually very important for options traders. Okay. This liquidity uh, uh, star. And when we trade options, we want the options to be very liquid. And, and as long as it has three stars above, means that it is actually a liquid liquid uh, uh, counter. So, so you don't need to actually look at open interest and all these kind of things to see whether it is actually liquid. You just rely on this star. If there is three star and above, means it's a very liquid stock. For example, I, I, I find another one stock which... Uh, uh, which stock is not liquid? Um, uh, it is liquid, still four star. Um, this is three star, HR is three star. Let me just find one not liquid stock. Uh, all these are 
maybe ETF, this liquid ETF. Uh, maybe put T. Uh, T is also liquid. <laughs> so many liquid. Okay, maybe just put uh, here. Okay. I don't know what stock is this. Okay, uh, I don't know what stock is this. New call, new call. Okay, new call. Okay, new call. You see that uh, the liquidity meter is only uh, two star here. Yeah. So this is one thing we should see, and then of course uh, other places here you can actually see. I've moved back to Facebook. Uh. Okay. So if I move back to Facebook, then of course you will see the uh, what else? Uh, the volume, uh, the low 52 weeks low. This might be something you are interested. You can see the volume here. And then you can see the IV, IV here, the IV here. The IV is also an uh, important metric for option traders. And then uh, what else here? Okay, IVR. Okay, this, this IV, IV rank, right, is actually one very important uh, metric for options traders. Because when, when we have a, when you see this indicator, right, it indicates whether the premium is rich or not, rich or not, okay? So, for example, if you see Facebook here have an IV rank of 10.1, 10 okay. When it has an IV rank of 10.1, means that the, the, the options are cheap. The options are cheap. When options are cheap, uh, means that when you do a debit trade, it will be advantageous for you. When you do a debit trade, it will be advantageous for you because option price is cheap. Uh, if, if this uh, IV rank is high, uh, for example, uh, let's find one with high IV rank. Um, so, so let's take this uh, this counter uh, K Web K Web uh, K Web, which is the uh, uh, China uh, ETF uh, China ETF uh, Tech ETF like, yeah? uh, This. IV rank is 55.7. Of course, 55.7 means that uh, the premium are rich. So these type of stocks where the premium are rich, then uh, the kind of trades which you do would be on the selling side, means that you collect uh, you collect premiums. And uh, you can also see uh, other stocks, uh, like new nowadays, the, the premium is very low, 4.1. So we don't, we don't do so much, uh, so much option selling uh, in this. Or for example, you look at Riot. You look at Riot. Okay, Riot now the Riot is actually the uh, uh, the Bitcoin minus uh, ETF, and and if you look at Riot, the IV rank is actually three point eight. Okay, so so when the IV rank is three point eight, means that premium selling is actually very bad. Uh, you can actually do uh, debit trades. Debit trades. Of course, when Riot uh, uh, IV rank is high uh, of uh, twenty and above then uh, it's very good for premium selling. Uh, you can actually get uh, about uh, three to 4% on uh, uh, two weeks options, two weeks options at Delta 20, 20, at Delta 20, at Delta 20 plus, you can actually get three to 4% premium, which is very rich premium. So these indicators are, uh, is all, on the interface, you can actually see it uh, very fast. You do not need to actually search uh, compared to other platform. Uh, you need to actually uh, put in scripts to 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 pull out this uh, IV rank. Uh, and I don't even know uh, uh, whether interactive brokers have this. I don't even know where to find it. But in Tastyworks platform, all the things that you need that is important for you to trade options is all on the interface uh, straight on. You can actually find it. What else uh, you would need for uh, trading? Uh, what else here? Okay, we have gone through this. Uh, okay, this is of course the uh, the uh, date of expiry. And of course, this side on this side, on the right side here, you would actually have the uh, expected move, expected move for the options. That means for example, uh, 15 October expiry, 45 days, the expected move for Facebook, let's put Facebook. Uh, Facebook expected move is 22.45, plus minus 22.45. Okay, and very easy, when, when you look at this brown indicator here, do you see do you see this brown thing here? There's, there's, there's this brown thing here. 
Yeah, if you see it, uh, put the thumbs up so I know you see it. Okay. What this brown thing in here is that this is one standard deviation move. Yeah, down, one standard deviation move down, one standard deviation move up. You don't even need to calculate, you see. You don't even need to take the price and, and minus this to calculate where it reaches on the uh on the on the strike price. You just look at this brown thing here and you will know okay, this is one SD. Yeah, that 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 is the great thing about it. So it makes your trading uh quite fast for execution for execution uh what else uh, i wanted to share with you yeah the iv again is shown here the iv again is shown here and of course uh if you talk about uh analysis analysis yeah trade analysis this is actually the trade analysis tab where you can actually see your risk profile for your trade risk profile for your trade uh, before you enter the trade, you can see. Um, even after you enter the trade, you can just pull it up. And this is my current risk profile for the balance uh, uh, bull, bull spread, which I still have here. This is my bull spread, bull put spread. And this is my risk profile. Yeah. So I am actually sitting now at, uh, where is it? 380. Yeah. So, so the, the, the current price is somewhere here. So I'm almost max profit in this, uh, in this trade, yeah? And the other very cool thing is about the options chain, about the options chain. Okay, if you look at this, this is actually an options chain. Uh, and a lot of times us traders have a lot of positions, have a lot of positions. And when we have a lot of positions, we do not know which, uh, which one is a rolling, which one is actually uh a, a a new a new trade which we put in and and when you put in uh here this chain here it shows you all the uh trades which you have for facebook for example uh all the trades which you have right now for example uh, i entered a trade here on 4th of uh uh august 4th of august then uh i close i close one the uh the short call i close one short call on 14 of uh august at one cent i closed that and then on 30th of august on 30th of august uh what did i do here ah 30th of august means uh yesterday la. <laughs> yesterday i closed i closed the long call i closed the long call uh here i closed the long call yeah and uh here there's one more down here uh on 14th of august i saw one uh short call i saw one short call and I closed that on 20th of August for another one cent. And the open position which I have right now is this uh, bear put spread, yeah? Bear put spread, which has a uh, balance uh, extrinsic value of 22 cents, yeah. So so again, you see how powerful this uh, platform is. Uh, it gives you, uh, uh, it's, like a, it's like your cockpit, uh, it's like your cockpit, uh, trading cockpit, where you can actually uh, have a lot of data uh, without, uh moving here and moving there everything is actually here yeah of course uh if you you want to go to charts uh yeah uh okay charting okay some people like charts some people like charts but if you are a professional uh, uh options trader they they hardly see charts la. they hardly the, the the real traders hardly see charts and this is something which i very respect them and they basically just trade on uh, they trade on uh, uh, metrics like IV, IV rank, uh, uh, the expected move. These are the metrics which they trade on. Sometimes they don't even look at charts. But of course, if you look at charts, uh, you can have uh, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, more more comfort la, More comfort when you actually do the entry. Where is it in the in the in the in the trade that you are actually executing an entry? So, so for for this, the charting uh, uh, is okay. If you if you are already a pro, technically this would already be enough for you, yeah. Because you only look at uh, price trends, price trends, and and if you need, then you look at the stochastic. If you look at the stochastic here, yeah, overbought and uh, uh, oversold uh, to see uh, uh, the, the 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 position uh, of the uh, price price trend, yeah. 
And uh, of course, if you uh, only have this broker and if you want to supplement with a better chart, you can just use uh, 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 TradingView. TradingView is uh, a free platform. Uh, you can actually use Trading Trading View to actually uh, plot your charts, plot and see your charts. And the other one here is actually uh, on the watch list. Okay, uh, very important uh, is actually a watch list. Uh, and if you look at watch list, uh, when trading options, we want to actually trade uh, high volume options. And and this is a preset watch list. You can also set your own uh, personal watch list uh, in here. Uh, but when, when we options traders look for trades, we would actually look at the, the high option volume uh, watch list. Yeah. And, and, and if you look at the uh, here, what matrix which we use here is this. Okay, if you look here, there is actually a few metrics. Again, IV rank, IV rank. You can just uh, uh, sort it by high to low, by high to low, to see what type of trades you want. If you want to do selling trades, look for high one. If you want to do debit trades, then you go down to look for the uh, the the low debit trades, the low uh, the, the the cheap options pricing here. Yeah, low. So when you look at uh, uh, IV rank, then uh, you would also uh, look at another uh, metric, which is the uh, five-day uh, five-day IV change. Five-day IV change, and what is this five-day IV change? Okay, IV is very important because it determines the premium of the options. When when IV when IV drops, that means the premiums would also drop. So, for example, if you are actually if you actually entered into a credit trade, credit trades means you are selling, uh, selling selling uh, uh, options. So your objective when you sell option is that over time you want the IV to drop. You want the IV to drop. So so this indicator will tell you over the fa past five days whether the IV has dropped or increased. Say for example, if you have a trade on on this, um, uh, say Goldman, say Goldman Sachs, say Goldman Sachs, uh, you say that over the past five days, IV have only dropped one percent. Yeah, means that not much change. And if you look at, uh, let's say, find something here, a uh, GPS. Yeah. So for example, if you look at GPS, GPS is gap star uh, gap uh, gap the the gap. So gap IV has actually dropped uh, by 15.7% over the past five days. Yeah, because it just finished earnings, uh, I think last week. So after earnings, the, the, the tendency is of course uh, IV would drop. Then you would know that, oh, the IV has actually dropped. Then that means if you have sold an option, then the premiums uh, would have actually gone down now and you can actually uh, do a buyback to close your trades. Yeah. And of course, if you are looking to sell uh, options, then you look for those which have actually a big jump here, uh, which which will say that the the over the past five days premium has actually gone 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 up. Yeah. So this is another great indicator which you have uh, off the surface of the platform. Uh, and, and another thing which uh, which some of you new traders would also want to use, but this one I would actually uh, warn you lah, huh? <laughs> you 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 if you do not know what you are doing, don't use this, okay? Because this is basically uh, a shortcut for 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 traders like myself. If I I am out of idea to 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 have trades, I will actually come here. I will actually come here. And, and basically what this is is all these are the traders okay all these are the traders uh and and tom is actually the 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 ceo of uh, tasty works he is also a trader yeah so he trades every day on this platform and he will actually show you what are the trades which he he execute what are the trades which he execute for example yesterday uh, uh he entered into uh futu futu he actually sold a naked, naked, naked put. He actually sold a naked put. 
uh, at, at $70 and he collected a premium of 105 uh, for this uh, trade. Yeah. And if you want to do this trade, if you know what this trade is, if you want to do this trade, you can follow him. And of course, how to follow is very simple. You just uh, right click. And why is it not working? Okay, duplicate this trade. Duplicate this trade. Uh, disclaimer, uh, disclaimer. Uh, okay, then you say yes. Okay, then uh, you can just execute here. You see the trade has been pulled to your platform. Sell for two at 70, 105. And if everything is okay, then you click send. You're done. You already follow his trade. I'm not following his trade. <laughs> yeah. So this, this is uh, one thing which uh, you can actually do or, or, or other things you can also learn, learn from them uh, in terms of uh, the type of trades which they actually enter. Uh, yeah? So yesterday was uh, Zoom earnings, Zoom earnings. Uh, Zoom earnings uh, here, we, he actually did, uh, what is this? This is actually, no, this is actually a, a hatch. Why is this a hatch? Okay, this is, these, are all, uh, these are all calls. This is okay. This is a this is a a, a Zoom earnings uh, buyer and iron condor expiry seventeen September. Yeah, seventeen September, and uh, I also entered into this uh, trade yesterday. I entered into this trade yesterday. Uh, but if you look at Zoom price uh, uh, after market, uh, it actually uh, shown minus forty two dollars. Uh, I saw it this morning. Minus $42 for Zoom. So for those who have traded Zoom, Zoom indication when it opened later, it is actually going down. Yeah. Uh, and the pre-market price uh, earlier, which I saw was minus 42. Yeah. So so within this, uh, you can see uh, this person uh, did a, uh, a, a put, the, 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 uh, the put at, uh, the short put is like 320. Yeah. So at 320, then it would actually uh, go deep in the money. Uh, uh, the one which I did yesterday was at 305. So 305 is still uh, still okay, okay. And uh, if the price recovers, then uh, I would exit the uh, Iron Condor uh, earnings trade with some profits uh, probably. I need to wait a bit, maybe uh, by next week. Next week, yeah. Uh, probably today would be a lost position uh, on the... Uh, put side on the uh, bull, 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 bull put spread will be a loss. Uh, the call side would be probably uh, again. Uh, I can also uh, roll the calls down to actually uh, cover some risk. Yeah. So this is again uh, uh, another thing which is uh, not on other platforms, not on other platforms which you can play around with and learn, learn, uh, get some idea lah, get some trade ideas. Yeah. So great. Uh, so uh, so far, uh, are you following? I mean, uh, if you are not following, I'm just uh, explaining to you what is available on this uh, platform. And of course, if you if you if you uh, if you uh, want to open up an account, uh, this platform uh, currently is quite fast. Uh, if you can actually do this. Uh, you can actually do this uh, within one week. Within one week. Yeah. You can open the account within one week. Uh, and, and that means you you register your account. And one thing, one other thing good about this platform is that they won't ask you any question. They do not ask you if you have experienced trading options. Because some platform, if you do not have experienced trading options, they won't let you trade options, yeah? But this platform is good because uh, it, 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 it wants people to trade. And of course, uh, they, 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 they will allow you to trade any strategies, any strategies, included, including naked strategies. You are all allowed to trade anything you want, no restriction, but of course, if only if you know uh, how to trade uh, naked options, you will do the naked one. Otherwise, uh, you just do on the debit side, the defined risk, defined risk trades. 
yeah and not the naked one yeah uh you need to be trained before you can actually start to do naked trades so uh uh if you want to open up an account i've actually put up a link there i've actually put up a link there uh this is my referral link i won't get anything of from it because uh, uh uh they only give some benefits if the referral is made out of us uh but this is basically just to uh make things easy for you to uh, open up an account you can just uh, uh, click on that link and uh, it will bring you to the account opening and uh, you only need two things to open your account which is your uh, a passport or your id and a phone bill or a electricity bill for proof of address and uh, you can open an individual account and choose the account type as the works the works okay because the works basically is a margin account choose margin don't choose cash choose margin account and basically with a margin account you can actually uh, trade anything anything you want uh, after you fund the account so within a week you would be able to be up and running in your trading game yeah so so that is what i actually wanted to share for share to you uh today and uh, for those guys who are starting on this uh trading journey i hope that uh this uh this this uh, session is actually uh beneficial uh to you and of course for those people uh who still want to actually get exposed to uh trading uh options uh i have this um uh webinar which basically i explain to you uh trading options using an income strategy yeah trading options using an income strategy uh this sunday i'm having a session if you guys are uh, interested to learn more you can actually uh, pop up uh, for this uh, webinar uh, it's free it's free uh, for you to actually get a glimpse of how you can actually get into uh, trading options to generate income yep Yep, so uh, that that is all from me today. Uh, if you would like to actually get connected with me, uh, you can follow me on uh, Facebook. Uh, my page is My Style Work, which is this page which you are uh, listening to. Uh, and of course, uh, if you actually want to uh, uh, read more uh, about options, uh, you can actually also go to the newsletter, the newsletter which... Uh, which uh, I, I i issue out weekly yeah but these are actually a premium newsletter you can subscribe to it uh you can subscribe to it uh, on a monthly basis and of course uh, if you are uh, the my students if you ask my students there's actually a way for you to uh, get this uh, sent to you uh, for free for free yeah uh, only if you are uh, my students yeah so okay great uh thank you so much uh, and uh, i wish you uh, a very good night and uh, Happy Madeka for those who are from Malaysia. Yeah, and uh, I catch up with you uh, next week. Traders Talk, uh, 7.30, same time. Uh, don't forget to train, trade, and thrive. So I'll see you uh, next week. Bye-bye.